There is only one thing to take from this review. It is if you play Monarch expecting to be Persona, you will not get what you are expected. Monarch feels like a PSX era RPG in most regards, and at a glance the comparisons to the famous series are pretty obvious. It's a grim RPG set in a school, with a heavy focus on using cognition to face off against thoughts given demonic form. That is more or less where the comparisons stop though. Monarch is a story-heavy, linear game with partial voice acting, where you play a clean slate hero with no memory as he walks around the campus, trying to solve the mystery of a strange fog that has caused most of the students to go mad or worse. Battles are scripted rather than random, with the option to choose certain battles to redo and grind, and most closely resemble a turn-based strategy game like Ark the Lad Twilight of Spirits. Combat is divided into an enemy and ally phase, and battles contain environmental hazards that apply debuffs or healing, as well as breakable barricades. Some attacks can be countered, attacking from behind has benefits, you can insist an attack if an ally is within their weapon's range, and there is a wide range of buffs, ailments, as well as abilities that do bonus damage to foes with ailments, and a mechanic that can cause you to go berserk if you use too much of your madness gosh, which follows mostly from travel or as a resource for some of your skills. Combat is very easy to pick up, and as you are rewarded bonus spirit for finishing battles quickly while utilizing strategic systems, it pushes you into being as efficient and aggressive as you can manage while still succeeding. Spirit behaves pretty much like souls in a Dark Souls game allowing you to unlock new skills in each character's unique skill tree or purchase items. And this is likely going to be the biggest point of contrition for players. Spirit gain is slow, especially if you aren't scoring high grades, and you have several characters suspended on, which makes the game feel more and more grueling the further you progress. With set battles instead of random ones, it is not the most exciting affair to redo these, an overall field layout and enemies boiling down to basically skeletons on a platform floating in some weird dream realm, has combat made this fart be a little bit on the tedious side at times. The exploration phase consists of going around, talking to NPCs while looking for triggers, and seeking out archive items which fill out story and character backgrounds, which in turn are used to unlock further parts of the story. This is not a game where you can gloss over the lore, as puzzles often involve finding passwords or numeric codes to progress. This is one of those things that will strongly appeal to those who like a game where you need to pay attention, and completely halt those who prefer a game where you can simply go to the next indicator and carry on. Each puzzle has one solution, and you will not be deviating from the path it sets you on. You do not so much explore dungeons, it's more that you find the path you need to take, and there's nothing like social links to build up relationships or side content to fill your downtime between battles, so the game feels extremely linear in almost every way. Monarch is a good game. It has a clear direction that they stick to and succeed with. However, that retro RPG feel of grinding and the heavy focus on investigating information to figure out what you need to do is going to bounce off most modern gamers. This is definitely something I can't recommend to most players, unless the things the genre abandoned years ago are what you miss most about it. But for those who enjoy the parts that will frustrate others, this is a very hard game to pass up on. I'm giving it 7 out of 10. Hey, did you like that video? If you did, be sure to let us know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. If you want to be first in line for any new content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and then hit up our Facebook page, the link's in the description below, to see what's coming up next.